Hello YouTube, my name is Kristen, I'm an aspiring horror author, and welcome to this week's writing vlog. So if you missed my last writing vlog, you should go back and watch it, um, but I finished my second draft and after I finished I got it printed so I have it here to hold and look at and read um, because I like to be able to read it physically because I feel like if I read it on my computer I like skim more. So this week I plan to read through my draft, make chapter notes, um, try to get a really good picture of like what I want to do for draft three, and then start on my outline. But this week is also going to be kind of a big week because I officially start school as of today. I am going to Purdue University as a nutrition major and I plan to eventually get my master's in dietetics and become a health at every size dietitian. Um, if you didn't know that writing wasn't my only passion, um, now you do. Um, it really started in like 2020. I read The Effort Diet by Caroline Dooner and that book changed my life. It really introduced me to the Health at Every Size movement and to anti-diet culture and just was a really great jumping off point for me to really explore this thing that um, I've always been kind of like interested in. Um, so I am officially going back and am technically a STEM major, which is insane. And if I could go back and tell my high school teachers that, they would probably laugh. <laughs> So it's going to be a pretty big week. Um, it's gonna be a pretty big month getting used to being in school again. It's been a very long time since I've been in any sort of schooling. So it's gonna be strange, but I'm going to have to figure out how to juggle writing and school and all the other things I have going on. And hopefully that works out and you will see me succeed and fail maybe simultaneously in these vlogs. So recap done, it is Wednesday. I'm starting the vlog a little bit late this week um, just because I needed a couple days off of my book, of thinking about it, of writing, of doing anything because I wrote an entire draft in a month. So it is Wednesday, um, it's almost my lunch hour, which means I'm gonna run to the library because my library card officially expired today and I can't check out any new books from the Overdrive app until I go get that fixed. Um, and I'm also a really big TBR for this month because it's Black History Month. And although I read diversely all the time and you know make that an effort and just kind of it naturally happens. <laughs> um, I do like to make it a point in February to read specifically black authors um, and black characters. Um, so I have a very big TBR, especially for a short month where I'm starting school and working on writing and preparing for my surgery this March. I also have like 15 books that I want to read. So <laughs> I need to be able to go do that. Um, so let's go head to the library. starting and I am so nervous. It's been so long since I've been in school that I'm feeling really intimidated and I just remembered that I forgot to buy like notebooks and stuff um, because it's been that long since I've been in school and I forgot that I like to take notes by hand um, so I guess I'm going to Target after class. Okay it's gonna start. See you in I don't even know how long this class is. Oh my God. See you when I see you. Okay, so we just got back home. Went to three different stores. Went to Five Below, Target, and Dollar Tree. Not one of them had college ruled notebooks. Dollar Tree had like the preschoolers, like super, super thick line um, composition. Like not even just like wide ruled, but like the, the super big one. So obviously that was a no go. Five Below had some that were like mini, Again, wide ruled though, they weren't college ruled. Do kids not use notebooks anymore? Is it all on like iPads and tablets and like laptops now? Do people not write by hand? 
I had to get my notebooks on Amazon because it was the only place I could think of and it was like 20 bucks for a pack of six. I don't understand. I, I am puzzled. Anyway, so it was finally time to start working on my book and I have my printed out draft and I'm just basically going to go through and read it and since I don't have a notebook to write notes in, I'm going to do inline notes and then kind of just like transfer all onto my computer um, as I go. I don't really know. I don't really have like a set plan. <laughs> I'm just going to start reading this and see kind of how it goes. Um, wish me luck because I don't have high hopes for this draft, <laughs> but um, it, it's just going to get better from here. I have to keep reminding myself. Um, it's going to be shit now. That's okay because it's just going to keep getting better as I go. Essentially, I have an older sister character um, who my main character is not very close with. They're very opposite of each other. Um, one is closer with their dad, one is closer with their mom. Like, essentially, like, complete opposites of each other. Um, and my idea is, instead of making it her, old, her much older sister, um, to make them the same age. And I think having them be twins or even maybe like a year or two younger might, it would change the dynamic a lot, but also it might be stronger. <sighs> it would be so much work though. <laughs> but I think that, I think the story would be better for it and just like, I want the family dynamic to be a lot stronger, and I think I'm gonna have to do it. God damn it. So I just finished going through chapter two and writing my notes and I'm starting to like the idea more and more of aging down the sister but I am also realizing how many things would have to change and although that's okay and I'm willing to do that work um, it is something that's gonna have repercussions throughout the rest of the draft so I have written quite a bit of notes on that um, what else wait? I'm basically adding uh, a lot of notes about description that needs to be added. Um, my white room syndrome is horrible. I am so bad and I like, I know going into it when I'm doing my first couple drafts that like I'm not aiming to add in a whole bunch of description, but as it currently stands, it's like every chapter is so bare bones and so like there's so little description of things that um, it's definitely going to be something that I'm going to have to keep adding in as I go on. Um, and other than that, I'm mostly just concerned with the sister dynamic and then if the sister is the same age, how that changes some other things. But I think I'm going to call out for the night. Um, I felt like I was going to get so much more done tonight, but I'm tired and I really just want to go like lay in bed and read my book. Um, if you are interested, I am currently reading Black Girls Must Die Exhausted. Um, it is really good so far. I'm only like a couple chapters in, um, but it is the first book on my Black History Month TBR. So I want to get that um, read some more so I can 
finish that and move along with the other books that I want to get to this month. So I'm going to head to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow for more of this. <laughs> it is now Thursday evening and I'm honestly just feeling very low energy. Um, I don't know. I, in the viewfinder it looks like I look very tired and so I apologize but yeah I'm just tired today. I've basically just been kind of like hanging out and reading all day. I finished Black Girls Must Die Exhausted by Jane Allen. It's about this girl Tabitha who is a news reporter in Los Angeles and just kind of follows her in her life. It goes with her friends and her boyfriend and her family issues and um but it's like very just like chill. Um it does touch on some like hard-hitting topics. It talks about um, police brutality and being a black woman in the workforce and just being a black woman in today's society in general um, and I feel like books like this are really important for like people to read like just kind of gaining more insight and empathy um, I found that like reading books like this like really give you like a peek into what it would be like to be a black woman to be you know whatever the book is about um and so it was just like a really really good read i really enjoyed it um i loved her relationship with her grandmother and i think i'm going to end up finishing the trilogy because um i just want to see where she goes from here so that was a good book to start the month i am going to read the witchery by s isabel um next it is a obviously a witch book um and i really don't know anything else about it the cover is really cool um and yeah i started i read like the first like chapter um and so far i'm into it so reading that next but for now i need to read my book um and get some of that done even though i'm very much just kind of wanting to not tonight but i said i would try to get at least a few chapters read um just to like make sure that i'm getting through it um because i feel like if i take too long then i'm not going to retain any of the things that i'm like thinking about and trying to like stew over while I'm doing this. So I'm going to start reading and I will let you guys know how it goes in a little bit. taking a break and watching a KDN video. Um, <laughs> so I've read up till chapter seven and things are going okay. I'm mostly now making notes. Like there's a lot of small notes that I'm making and a lot of like add way more description because oh my god. Um, <laughs> and like wow you were really inconsistent about how this character acts. Um, but the majority of my notes are like how these scenes are going to change now that I've decided to age down her sister. Um, and one of the things I just realized is going to have to change is if I age down her sister, that means I'm also aging down her sister's boyfriend, who is a main, you know, integral plot character, um, because that would be really gross if I didn't, um, and illegal. Um, and that means I also need to age down um, another character, who um i can't give any more information about because so many spoilers um there's another character that i would have to age down and by aging them down i would have to probably rethink a lot of the dynamic and a lot of who he is and how he relates to the book um this one's hard because because if i tell you who this character is it, it really does spoil um everything because he's kind of like a oh, surprise here he is kind of character um shit i don't know how i'm gonna do that gosh darn it man uh it's gonna this is gonna take a lot more thought than i originally anticipated <laughs>
been very bad about keeping you guys updated. It is now Sunday afternoon, like late in the afternoon. I think it's like almost four. And um, I, I knew that I wasn't going to be great at time management right away. I knew it was going to be a process of figuring it all out and I'm going to be, you know, nice to myself and, you know, not expect myself to get everything right away. But it is hard. <laughs> it is hard to figure out how I'm going to be finding time for everything, for writing, for homework, for vlogging, for everything that I want to do and like have to do in a day. It, there's just like aren't enough hours. And I have been just not very good about updating you guys about what's been going on. So to recap, on Friday, I finished my read through. I went through the entire draft and did all of my notes, uploaded all those notes to Notion. There's a lot. <laughs> and I'm honestly feeling a little bit insecure about how much I want to change. Um, I posted on <laughs> Instagram on Friday and like had like a little like throwaway line at the end of my post about like asking for a friend how long, like how many drafts until you aren't making huge changes and someone who meant nothing by it was very much like less than three bitch and <laughs> yeah and i'm like starting to feel insecure like oh am i am i taking too long to figure out this draft and like no i know i'm not like logically i know that it's fine like i i can take however long i need to like that's the joy of not being agented but I am starting to feel a little bit like I need to figure out this freaking plot. So I'm feeling a little bit insecure and I know like I know logically it's fine, but logic doesn't mean shit. Like it's not it doesn't matter how I can like logically explain things to myself. It still feels shitty. So I'm feeling a little bit insecure and I know that I need to start this um, outline and really try to work out the plot so that this is the last time I have to make like giant developmental edits. Um, so that's the writing update. I haven't done anything since Friday because yesterday on Saturday, I thought I was going to be able to do both, but I started homework at 9 a.m. and I didn't finish until like exactly 9 p.m. I didn't leave my desk all day long. And finally at like dinner time, my husband came in. He was like, okay, let's go. Like we need to get out of the house. Um, so we went on the like sushi date and then we got a uh, frozen yogurt and it was really nice. Um, but yeah, homework is insane. I mean, for the amount of homework that I have for only two classes is alarming, <laughs> especially on the first week. Uh, so uh, it's going to be hard, but something I can figure out to figure out how, how to, I'm going to juggle everything. Um, but that's, that's the goal of next week is to start figuring things out. Um, and you know, it'll take a minute and, but I'll get there. It'll be fine. So as for today, I want to start doing my outline for draft three. I have so many notes on what I want to do and things I want to change and add. Um, so I'm excited to jump in feeling a little bit overwhelmed but you know gotta start somewhere so i'm just gonna jump in see how much i can get done today and then just keep working on that line for the rest of the week um and we'll kind of go from there so enough rambling i'm gonna get started So I just finished outlining chapter one and I have decided to age down my main character's sister. Um, so she now she is 16 or 17 rather than being like 25. Um, and one of the aspects that I had about that character in the past drafts was that she had her own paranormal investigation show um, like on the Discovery Channel. And I didn't want to get rid of that aspect completely because one, it comes up later, and two, it's just really fun. Um, so now that she is a teenager, instead of having her own TV show, I'm having her be TikTok famous, which is fun. And I really like that um, that aspect. So I'm having fun so far. I'm really, I was worried about how long this outline was gonna take me, because um, after I finished my read through, I felt like I was changing so much 
but now that I'm like really looking at my notes and along with my outline for draft two, um, I'm really not changing that much. Um, so it should go a lot faster than I had originally thought. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I'm happy that I thought of that like little detail about my main character, character's sister. I think I'm gonna have them be fraternal twins. Um, my husband is a fraternal twin and so I kind of like having that in there. Um, so yeah, that's the update for now. I'm gonna continue on with this outline and I'll check back in with you in a minute. I have officially finished the first act of my outline. So far, so good. I know that the, the harder part is going to come in the next two acts, but I'm feeling good. It is getting toward dinner time, so I think I'm going to end the vlog here, and then we'll pick up tomorrow with trying to figure out how to get everything done that we need to get done. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to experiment with like getting small amounts done every day and see if that works out. If all those fails, we might be doing a 5 a.m. Uh, new schedule, which I've done in the past and it works for me, but it still is like gross. I don't want to get up at 5 a.m., especially because I'm currently not drinking caffeine. Um, <laughs> so that's like a last resort. But Thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. I'm sorry it was a little bit uh, not super duper exciting, <laughs> but uh, I'm just getting used to all the new things that are happening. And um, I will see you guys in next week's vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I will see you guys later. Bye.